guys, today I'm here to review this pancake waffle muffin pin, whatever you want to put in it kind of pin. Um, I'm going to go over a couple bases with you real quick and then I'm going to show you how it works, say, to make a pancake and maybe a muffin if you're lucky. We'll see which one goes best. But let's go over this real quick. Up here, of course, you have your plastic container top. It simply just pops off. That's good for storage. Then you have this silicone nipple going on. The nipple, as you can see, has a about, uh, it's a pretty good size hole there. The nipple does not come off, it is secured in there. Then this part right here is plastic, so you can unturn that when you're clean, for cleaning purposes and take it off like so. Then the actual bottle itself is a plastic. It has, of course, the cups here. You have one cup, two cups, three cups. And then over here it has it in the milliliters. So you can do either cups or milliliters depending on how, how you like to measure it. The bottom, of course, right here is also a plastic piece. This also unscrews. So say if you didn't want to fill it in from the top, you could just leave your top on with your lid and pour all your batter in here through the bottom. Or when you're cleaning it, just simply take off the bottom, um, stick it in your dishwasher, it's really easy to clean. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause this, I'm gonna go make up some batter, and we're gonna show you how well it works actually forming the pancakes and stuff like that. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back here. Um, I went ahead and mixed up my stuff. As you can see, it is in there really nicely. I don't have that much in there. It is not leaking from the bottom whatsoever. Um, what I did is you can either mix it in a cup if you want and pour it in here. What I did is I put everything in here and then I used my milk frother <laughs> to do it. So let's see how well this actually works. So it's like a little baby bottle. All we're going to do is turn it over and you're going to squirt. Um, it does drip out kind of obviously you can see as when I poured it like watch as you pour it it does come out a little bit so you just need a squirt to get the right amount to come out um my pancakes are pretty watery right now <laughs> but as you can see like let me do it it's on this side so when you turn it over you can see how it squirts out a little bit so it's not completely foolproof on the spill but that's okay just squeeze it and it comes out. Now, if you have leftover pancake batter, just simply wipe, wipe the top off right there. What you can do is you can put the lid on it like this, stick it in the refrigerator like this and use it for later. So no problems there. So overall for this, I mean, it's pretty easy to use. Um, I like it. So I would, def I would give it five stars. It's easy to clean, it's easy to use. No problems like that. Like I said, if you want to mix your mixture in here, I suggest you get one of those little electric melt frothers and do it in here. So overall, I would give it five stars. 